Hi, uh, this is Colin Calvanetti, the CEO of the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre. I want to start by saying a big thank you to everyone who came to our night in Canberra recently. It was terrific to see such energy and engagement and passion. Uh, this email that you're getting today is following through with what we promised, which were a couple of critical things. One, we wanted to provide you with more resource and support around how do we change the conversation and how do we change attitudes towards refugees. And you'll see as one of the attachments in this email a great little summary guide around our words that work research, the do's and don'ts, that you can start practicing around how do we shift the conversation. Second, that we talked about on the night was all of you in that room were so keen to get involved volunteering and connecting locally. We promised to link you up with all the terrific local Canberra refugee organisations that you could help right now practically. And you'll find links to all of them in this email. And third, we promised that we would come back in 2017 and run further workshops around how do we change the conversation so that you can be empowered in your own communities to use our tools and learnings to help be champions for that change. And that's coming in the new year, so look out for that in a future email update. I wanted to take this moment to do a couple of key things. Well, one was just to summarize what we talked about on that night around the key learnings that we've got and the key things to do around how you can change attitudes around refugees. And these are the key things. Remember at all times, one, we're gonna stop talking about what refugees are not. So we're gonna stop using words like asylum seekers that no one relates to. We're gonna stop using things like, they are not illegal, they are not queue jumpers, they are not terrorists. All the things that feed into a toxic dominant narrative that we can't change and we can't shift. And instead we're gonna take the high moral ground, we're gonna be value centered, we're gonna be aspirational in our language, we're gonna talk about solutions, we're gonna talk about common good, and we're gonna take refugees and put them into a values frame that people can actually relate and connect to. So we're gonna start talking about who they are, we're going to start talking about the people seeking asylum. We're going to humanise them. We're going to talk about how resilient they are and courageous they are. We're going to talk about this being people seeking safety, seeking to integrate, sharing our values, wanting to contribute, wanting to give back. So that we're talking about people that we can relate to. We are all a nation of people who arrive by sea on the land of First Nations people. So this is a shared story. Their story is our story. So what I want to encourage you as a first step over the coming months is to get into the habit and practice around what does it mean to be a moral society? What does it mean to be a caring society that values people? What does it mean when people seek our protection? And we're going to be talking about values. That a compassionate Australia does not allow children to be abused in our care. That a caring Australia lets people who are seeking our protection to settle, to integrate and to contribute. And we're going to be talking a positive about who refugees are. Within all of this, the other thing we talked about on night was the fact that there are solutions, that there are alternatives to what we see happening right now. And these are the things that are not being talked about right now. So let's summarise those, the solutions that are possible. Right now, we could quadruple the number of people that we take every year. And that would still just be an average intake. We could do it right now. We could provide safe passage by flying people who are UNHCR assessors refugees from Indonesia right now to Australia. Three, we could be working with our partners like Japan, South Korea, New Zealand to share the responsibility in our region. We could work with countries like Indonesia, Thailand and Malaysia where hundreds of thousands of refugees are stranded and work with them around how do you provide dignity, the right to work, a roof of your head and basic safety while you're in transit waiting for protection. We could stop politicising the issue. We could actually stop demonising refugees. We could actually have a bipartisan approach that sees this for the humanitarian moral issue that it is. We could bring them here from the Rue and Manus and for the nearly 30,000 in our community right now, we could let them stay. We could let them all work. We could let them have permanent protection and we could enable them to have family reunification. The very fundamental things that anyone needs to settle successfully in this country. These are the things that we could do right now. So over the coming year, we want you to go on a journey with us as an organisation where we work together around how do we change hearts and minds, how do we change conversations, how do we create policy alternatives that are durable, solution focused and that appeal to the best in us as people, as caring people. Thank you again so much for coming along and I can't wait for us to be back in the new year to run training, to get you involved as volunteers in changing the conversation around refugees. Thank you.